Asato ma sadgamaya, tamaso ma jyotir gamaya, mrityor ma mrdam gamaya. Asato ma sadgamaya, tamaso ma jyotir gamaya. In this episode, we are providing the learners with uh, some spoken English forms for listening and then some material for dialogue making and some material for language practice. The first part is a description of the Trivandrum Golf Club. Uh, it's a very beautiful description, giving you the details of this organization, which has been around 100 years old. A few questions are asked at the end of the description, so that children who have understood the spoken language will be able to answer the questions. The sound system of the language has uh, several other aspects. The Travancore Royal Family established the Trivandrum Golf Course in the 1850s. Thus, Kerala had a golf course long before America or Europe had won. In fact, the Trivandrum Golf Club has the oldest golf course in the world outside Great Britain. It is a nine hole, 5,290 yards, par 68, private course spread over 8.9 hectares of green land comprising fairways, putting greens and waterways. The course with its natural slopes and plains was one of the prettiest spots in the city and the hunting ground of the Travancore royalty. It retains close contact with the present members of the royal family and even today the wells of the adjacent Kaudiar Palace form the major water resource of the course. The clubhouse of the Trivandrum Golf Club declared as a heritage building by the government of Kerala is therefore one of the oldest in the country. It is more than a hundred years old even though the course itself is over 150 years of age. The club building which functions as an office, lounge and pavilion is a rare specimen of traditional Kerala, Chinese and colonial architecture. The lounge of the clubhouse is a marvel of outstanding woodwork. Even 
the old fire clay tiles have been maintained. Antiques such as copper vessels used to water the greens, an iron putting cup from the earlier days and wooden clubs made in Scotland are displayed in the lounge. Colonel G. V. Raja, a royal interested in the sport, was the first president of the club. The current membership of the club is around 500. The number of playing members come to nearly 16. Guests are allowed to use the course on the basis of a green fee. In the middle of the sprawling lawns is an amphitheater with a pool, a billiards room, a cards room and pro shop facilities selling all kinds of golf equipment such as gloves, tees, golf box, shoes and caps are attached. A pathway around the golf course has been cut out for walking or jogging. The route is earmarked with color signs on the trees. A restaurant with catering facilities is also available. The club also hosts several inter-club meets as well as regional and national tournaments. Prominent among the regional meets is that of the Addicts Golfing Society of Southern India. Their 2003 meet and the special Addicts meet of January 2004 were held here. Clubs from South India participate in the inter-club meets. Annual events of significance include the Colonel G. V. Raja Memorial Cup, the President's Cup, Governor's Cup, Captain's Cup, Army Cup, SWI Championship Open and the Wills Open Golf Championship to name only a few. The golf club is a venue for public and private functions. Membership is exclusive. The elite of the city prefer the tranquility and privacy ensured by the club. Jacqueline Kennedy and Rajiv Gandhi are among the dignitaries who have visited the Trivandrum Golf Club. Reshma, when was the Trivandrum Golf Course established and by whom? The Travancore Royal Family established the Trivandrum Golf Course in the 